working with you to build an army for human liberty, fighting for a world set free in our time. Oh, I got ahead of myself. Before I do that, and before I talk about my amazing running mate, let me talk for a moment about my opponents. Let's talk for a bit about Joe Biden. Oh, you've heard of, oh, skip it? Oh, you've heard of it? Name a policy you hate, the endless wars overseas, the war on drugs, the war on sex work, uh, civil asset forfeiture, the 1994 crime bill, what's that? Patriot Act. The Patriot Act, endless warrantless surveillance programs. Joe Biden has either helped write those bills, helped sponsor those bills, helped sign them into law, or helped oversee its enforcement for eight years in the White House. Joe Biden is the architect of every bad policy to come out of Washington, D.C. for the nearly 50 years he's been there when he isn't busy sniffing children and making women try to kiss him in front of cameras. And how fitting that one of the architects of the militarized police state would pick as his running mate one of its most brutal enforcers. Let's talk for a moment about Kamala Harris. It's a good group. You've heard of all these people. Kamala Harris, who has the distinction of putting away more people, including more people of color, than any other person alive at the state level in our time. Kamala Harris, who at least twice intentionally withheld exculpatory evidence in a capital murder case. Let me say that again. At least twice, she was a prosecutor or DA of a capital murder case in which she and her office had evidence that made it clear that the person that she was trying to uh, trying to prosecute, who in both cases was a black man, did not commit the crime. Not only did she not immediately release that evidence and refuse to prosecute because they didn't do it, she actually withheld that evidence even after, in one of those cases, a judge ordered her to release it. And why? So that it wouldn't affect her conviction record. These, these are the people that the Democrats have asked you to throw your vote away for. These are the folks who smile to their base and say black lives matter and then implement policy after policy after policy that makes it clear that they don't think black lives matter, they don't think anyone lives matters except for the cronies that pay for them to be in office. That's who the Democrats have asked you to vote for. Now let's talk about the other wing of that plan.